We're spending the weekend in Rutland in the East Midlands to visit some amazing English chocolate box villages. And on our way there, we stopped here at Castle Ashby Gardens in Northamptonshire. It's a great place. We came here about four years ago, fell in love with the orangery. I think you will understand why. And it's a great place to start this video. This is Castle Ashby, which is the ancestral home of the seventh Marquess of Northampton. We will be going to the Orangery first because it's so gorgeous. I think this is my favourite Orangery ever with a beautiful pond, fish and water lilies. And as far as I know, it dates back to 1872. It's absolutely breathtaking. So there's the Orangery right next to it. A very picturesque church. I think it would be so nice to get married here. I'm pretty sure it's possible, so that's a great wedding venue for those who are on the hunt. And of course, Jörg is with me as well. Yeah. Hello. And isn't it lovely today? It's glorious outside. I think we're quite lucky. smells divine, doesn't it? Mm. Mm. <laughs> and I think this is a little bit like ours. Yeah, a bit. The, the one we have in front of our house. Mm. I think ours is a little bit stronger in colour, but it's beautiful. Yeah, it smells beautiful. Yeah. No, it smells lovely. They are the most amazing cottages on the estate absolutely wonderful i hope you can see this cottage slash house because it's a very big one and also very similar to the cottages or houses you find in the cotswolds we ordered a little bite or small bite so what are you having i'm having a sandwich with bacon chicken and mayonnaise. Mm -hmm. This is a gluten-free sandwich with tuna and mayo.
So we left the gardens and what we did, because we haven't seen that last time, or not really, we stopped in the village, Castle Ashby. Yeah, because it looks very nice to me. It looks absolutely wonderful. So picturesque and really, really peaceful as well. Would yeah. love to live here. An old English village. Yes, and what we said, because the Cotswolds are so popular, but lots of villages in Northamptonshire and Rutland are as equally stunning, just not as, I don't know, not, not on everybody's radar. No. So we think it's really worth visiting. Yeah, it's a hidden gem. Yes. Look at these houses and there's a lovely rose on the right hand side. I love it. This small village also has an hotel. We just stumbled upon it. It's called the Falcon. Looks really nice. There's a beautiful thatched cottage and um, behind it you can see Castle Ashby. It's a private road though so we can't go there. I love the bird song. A really lovely tiny place. You can walk around it in about 10 minutes. It takes you a bit longer when you film. Now we're going to Rutland to our hotel which is called the Barnsdale and it will take another hour to get there. made it to Rutland which is the smallest county in England and we're here in a village called Herringworth. Really really lovely. A beautiful church, beautiful houses so we can really recommend stopping here. I think this might be the parsonage because it's right next to the church. Has a beautiful visteria in front of it. This is our place for the night, the Barnsdale Rutland. And we just said how much we love the red rose next to the sign. Okay, there's the reception. Let's check into our room. We just checked into our room and we're actually so lucky that we got a room because we decided to come to Rutland two or three days ago. And I googled and searched the internet like crazy. Everything was taken so yeah we ended up here at the Barnsdale and there's a wedding outside. So there are wedding guests and here is our room. So this is the bed. Let me see so this is a room next door. We can't go there. And this is the bathroom.
he went back to the car to get more luggage and I'm going to make some tea so I just had a look this is actually coffee tea is in there so let's see I just fancy a black tea I bet the others will it's time for dinner and we booked a table here at yeah. the hotel go inside I'm hungry me too I must admit me too Cheers. So that's Yuck Starter, which is a, you have to tell me again, smoked duck. And ham terrine. Okay. And this is, I forgot the name. <laughs> that's a, a pitch and breast. Uh, pitch and breast salad. Yeah, pitch and breast salad. And it looks good. And this is a risotto, lemon and pea, or peas. Peas. And yours is a rock and trout. Yeah, trout. It looks really nice. Mm -hmm. yep. What do you think? Dinner was excellent. It really was, yes. wasn't it? Yes, it was really good. I liked it. Good morning. Good morning. We just checked out of the hotel and decided to have breakfast here at a place called Hambledon Cafe and Bakery. Yes, and that's because the breakfast wasn't included in the hotel rate. No. <laughs> uh, and so we said, yeah, we take the opportunity. Uh, yes, yeah. And by the way, the hotel was fine, mm -hmm. but it wasn't value for money. No, so we actually, we tried to find a bed and breakfast place, a, a lovely bed and breakfast place, but because we decided to come here, like very last minute, yeah. we couldn't find anything. So that's the place, Hamilton Bakery, the taste and goodness of traditional bread. So <laughs> let's find out if that's true. While Jörg was in the car, I got him two cheese and onion sc scones. I was going to say mm. scones. They smell scones. divine. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> mm, really good. And this is a sourdough bread. Yeah. I need to see it. <laughs> or well, I know how it looks. Yeah. I'll just yeah. That's a sourdough bread. And what do you think? Breakfast was really good. And they, they are so friendly yes, in there. Yes, so friendly and it was really tasty. Yeah. yeah we yeah. had a, um, what was it called? A bacon roll. Bacon roll, yes. And they were so nice and kind. So yeah. we can we can honestly yeah, recommend, can recommend it. Yeah, recommend this place. Yeah. We're now in a village called Exton and it's absolutely charming and beautiful. All the roses are in bloom and it's like picture perfect. So this used to be a school but it's now a regular house and it's from 1874, St. Mary's School.
surrounded by gorgeous yew trees. You can see them here, all sorts of shapes. They look incredibly beautiful. And this is Glipsham Yew Tree Avenue. There are 137 yew trees and they are more than 200 years old. This used to be the carriage driveway to Clipsham Hall. It's 700 meters long. And just imagine riding in a carriage wearing a lovely dress. This is breathtaking. And you know what's really great about this place? It's free, you can just come here have a nice walk, enjoy a picnic. It's definitely one of the less known places, so put it on your list in case you're in the area. We're now at Rutland Water. Yes, and it's actually one of the largest man-made lakes in Europe. Yes, and it's our first time here. Yeah, that's so funny because we've driven past it a few times, but never stopped. No. And there's a very picturesque church called Normanton Church. Yeah, which we want to explore now. Yeah, it stands on a very narrow peninsula. I think it's very popular with wedding photographers, so we'll want to have a look. We're in a very picturesque village called Hambleton, which is on the Rutland Water Peninsula. And before we left for Rutland, we created a list with all the villages we wanted to visit, but we can't manage all of them. Look at this beautiful big cottage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's wonderful. The funny thing is, we don't really know if it's new or old, yeah. because you find a lot of houses here that are just, that were just built in that kind of style. Yeah. Because, because although, the walls look like they're new. But although, look at the like the rose and the gate. Yeah. That looks old. That looks old, but the walls of the house look like they've been cleaned and... What, what's it called, the cottage? Is it a stone cottage? A stone cottage, yes. It's really nice. I really like the flowers. Yeah. And the front door is beautiful. The windows look brand new, yeah. as if they've just been replaced. And it also looks like they did a lot of I think, cleaning of the walls. So what do you think? Is it old or new? I think it's old because look at the roof. Yeah? Because you see that the roof isn't even. Yeah, but that could be on purpose. Yeah, and I've just looked at the back and you can see at the back there's an annex mm -hmm. with a real old roof. Right, yeah. Yes, the annex seems to be old and there's a lot of work going on, so someone will have a wonderful house slash cottage one day.
the church is open so we want to have a look but I don't know the name of the church yet so it should be here at the entrance. Now, I don't know how you feel, but I'm very tired now. Yeah, me too. We're looking a little bit bedraggled. Yeah. Because, well, we walked a lot, we saw a lot, but we didn't manage to take of all the places that we had on our list. No, no, it was simply so, too much. Yeah, too many villages, but we hope that, well, what we were able to film, we hope that you liked it. Yeah. And thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate it. So, hope to see you again very soon. And until next time. Bye. Bye.